Welcome to Discover Daily by Perplexity, an AI-generated show on tech, science, and culture. I'm Alex. Today, we're exploring one of the most intriguing mysteries in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, the WOW signal. On August 15, 1977, astronomer Jerry Amon made a startling discovery while reviewing data from Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope. He spotted an unusual sequence of characters on a computer printout, 6EQUJ5, representing a strong narrowband radio signal that lasted for 72 seconds. Astonished by its intensity and characteristics, Amon circled the sequence and wrote, Wow! Beside it, inadvertently giving the phenomenon its famous name. The WOW signal has since become a pivotal moment in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI. Its unique features set it apart from typical radio emissions, detected at approximately 1420.4556 megahertz. It was remarkably close to the hydrogen line frequency of 1420.4058 megahertz. This frequency, corresponding to a 21 centimeter wavelength, is significant as it's created by a change in the energy state of neutral hydrogen atoms. Many SETI researchers consider this frequency a prime candidate for interstellar communication due to hydrogen's abundance in the universe, and the theory is that any technologically advanced civilization would likely be aware of its significance. What made the WOW signal particularly intriguing was its narrowband nature, with a bandwidth of less than 10 kHz. This is significant because such a confined frequency range is rarely produced by natural astronomical sources, but is characteristic of artificial or purposely built transmissions suggesting for SETI researchers a potential technological origin. The signal's intensity reached 30 sigma above background noise, indicating exceptional strength. Adding to the mystery, the signal appeared to originate from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, which contains the center of our Milky Way galaxy. This region is rich in celestial objects, including numerous stars and nebulae, making it a prime target for astronomical observations. For SETI researchers, the WOW signal's proximity to this frequency, combined with its narrowband nature and high intensity, matched the theoretical characteristics of an artificial extraterrestrial transmission, making it a compelling candidate for potential alien communication. But despite extensive follow-up observations over five decades, the WOW signal has never been detected again, leading to various hypotheses about its origin, including extraterrestrial communication, natural phenomena, and human-made interference. Recent technological advancements have enabled more sophisticated searches for similar signals. Researchers using the now-closed Arecibo Observatory's 305-meter telescope in Puerto Rico detected signals similar to the WOW signal, though significantly weaker. These new signals, about 100 times less intense than the original, were observed multiple times between February and May 2020. The findings from these observations were published in 2024 and have led to a new hypothesis. The WOW signal may have been caused by a rare transient event that temporarily amplified the brightness of a hydrogen cloud through a maser-like effect, where stimulated emission from the cloud is triggered by an intense radiation source behind it, similar to how lasers work, but with radio waves. This explanation attempts to reconcile the signal's extraordinary strength with the more recent, weaker detections. However, the debate is far from settled. Critics argue that if the Big Ear Telescope searched for years and only found this one-time signal, it's unlikely to be of alien origin. The lack of explanation for why it was only seen once remains a serious challenge. In 2017, 
astronomer Antonio Paris suggested it might have been caused by hydrogen emissions from passing comets, but this hypothesis faced significant skepticism, as comets have never been observed to emit strong radio signals at the WOW signal's frequency. Meanwhile, other critics point out that current search methods may be too narrow, focusing primarily on radio signals while overlooking other potential forms of communication or technology. But SETI research continues, now with the use of AI. In 2023, a team led by the researcher Peter Marr at the University of Toronto employed machine learning algorithms to analyze data from the Green Bank Telescope. This AI-powered search identified eight previously undetected signals of interest from five nearby stars, showcasing the potential of AI to sift through vast amounts of data more efficiently than human researchers. The Breakthrough Listen initiative, launched in 2015 with a $100 million budget, uses powerful telescopes worldwide and has surveyed over 1,000 nearby stars and the centers of 100 galaxies. In 2019, they released nearly two petabytes of data, the largest SETI data release in history, which continues to be analyzed by researchers. The WOW signal remains an enduring mystery. In the vastness of the universe, there may still be messages waiting to be deciphered, phenomena to be explained, and perhaps someday a definitive answer to this question of extraterrestrial life. Until then, SETI researchers continue to refine their techniques and technologies, balancing scientific rigor with the exciting possibility of detecting a genuine alien transmission. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to Discover Daily. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on your favorite podcast platform. In other perplexity news, if you're heading back to school and use perplexity to search the internet, ace exams, and learn fast, now you can give that edge to your classmates and score some rewards while you're at it. Check out the description for the exciting ways you can unlock prizes and share perplexity with your entire campus. You'll also find more information there on the WOW signal and SETI research. Don't forget the Perplexity app is available on both Android and iOS. We'll be back with more stories to expand your horizons. Until then, stay curious.